do you want Google to send you buyers for free? Well, if so, you've got to speak its language. It's not just about keywords, it's about knowing actually what your customer or your visitor actually mean. And that comes down to creating content that resonates exactly with what your visitor wants. That's the secret sauce. You see, when you think about your website, you want to make sure that everything fits together. An example of this would be, so let's say that your website is about Moroccan coffee, okay? So you want to be creating content about Moroccan coffee. You don't want to be creating content about stacks of Moroccan coffee and then Ghanaian tea. It just doesn't mix together. So you want to be creating content about the different blends of Moroccan coffee, where to buy it, the aromas, etc. These are the things that are going to set you up as a topical authority within the Moroccan coffee niche or whichever niche that you're in. And notice I say topical authority here, because what this basically is, is an authority of a topic. Like, that's really it. And when the search engines start to see you as a topical authority or an authority of a topic, then they start raising your website up the search engines, up to the top positions, because they deem you as a person that other people should learn from. But the thing is, normally finding or being able to create this topical authority is difficult because why do you think so many people are actually looking for, you know, ideas for their website? Because they don't understand where to or how to create this topical authority for themselves. And it's no wonder that SEO companies and consultants are making an absolute killing and don't want anybody to realize how to do this, how to build that topical authority. Because, you know, people are just creating articles and if they just create articles and they aren't really on topic or they don't understand how to actually create them in a certain way, then the, their websites aren't going to rise up the search engines. So these SEO experts are kind of going, ah, 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 ah. well, I'll do it for you and I'll charge you a thousand or two thousand or five thousand dollars to actually do it when you don't need that. So you know what the challenges are finding these ideas and you know what the payoff can be as well. Top search rankings, free customers from Google. But the road to SEO success kind of, it can, you can get lost. You need a map to actually do it. And Google Bard is this map. Pretty much the coolest thing that we can learn about when it comes to SEO at this very time. Why? Because it's from Google. And Google are the search engine, the, the big boys in the search engines. So Google Bard is connected to Google. So we've got to learn to use Google Bard in the best way to actually ensure that our websites are getting visitors. And just a note about Google Bard. Google Bard in itself is absolutely brilliant. It's so good at marketing and it's so good for SEO. In terms of content creation, you know, it's getting better. It is getting better and you've got to actually apply the better prompts to it to actually make great content. But for search engine optimization, this is killer. It is so, so good. So what we're going to do here is we're going to actually look at creating what is called a topical map. Now, this is a map of all the content that your website needs to create to rise up the search engines. And this is going to ensure that you never are out of content ideas. You're just going to have awesome content ideas that one after another after another, as you do them, it's going to strengthen your position on the search engines and you're going to rise up the search engines with each and every article that you put on there. So we're going to create this right now. So in order for us to do this, I've created a sheet for you here, which you can access. Now, this sheet basically is a topical map with Google Bard, as you can see, and you've got instructions. And here's just a little bit of information about um, about what this topical uh, authority is. All right. And look, this is just for yourselves to go through, to read. I've broken it down into layman's terms, into easy to understand language so that anybody can really understand it and understand why they're applying this thinking uh, to create their topical map. So the first thing what we want to do is and we want to generate a table containing 30 semantically distinct and relevant topics under the broad category of, and then we put in our broad category of, um, of our website. And then we want to utilize uh, a Google Sheets format here, okay? So what we're just going to do is we're just going to copy this prompt. We're going to put it into BARD here. And then we're just going to take our keyword out here. And we're going to use something like, let's say, DIY wood. DIY woodworking. Okay. 
Now what it's basically going to do is it's going to go off and it's going to create a sheet for us of 30 semantically distinct and relevant topics that are related to the niche that it is that we're looking to go that we're looking to build into and as you can see here it's got our topic so basic woodworking tools and techniques and building furniture diy home improvements woodworking for beginners upcycling wood and it's got a description beside it as well so basic woodworking tools and techniques learn the essential tools and techniques for woodworking into measuring marking sawing drilling and using hand and power tools and as you can see we've got 30 of them here okay now the great thing about google is we can export this to sheets as well so it's going to create a spreadsheet for us and we can keep that so you can just click on it there and it's going to open a sheet and you can make it look pretty and beautiful and do all that kind of stuff with it um that is completely up to you but there you go so these are the topics then that you would start to actually go over so as you can see here woodworking joints for children's for bathrooms all these kind of different things okay now the next thing we need to do is we need to actually go and look at the articles within these topics that we need to create so we're just going to go to our next prompt copy and we're just going to put it into bard and we're going to say okay so please provide 10 distinct keyword variations of that cater to a different search intent okay or cater to different search intent please organize them in a google sheets format now we could grab any one of these now what i want you to do is i want you to grab all of these i want you to go one by one through this and you're going to get in total you're going to have 300 articles that you need to create to gain topical authority within your niche you're just going to press enter here and there we go so what we have here is 10 distinct keyword variations with different search intents okay so we've got diy coffee tables for living rooms custom media consoles for living room decor so you got informative instructional you've got interactive engaging transactional instructional uh, sustainable cost effective frugal so you got so many different search intents that are actually going on there now what you need to do is basically go through each one of these okay so do it again copy that you've done one of them go to the next one so in your list let's say you had it in here and say you wanted to do building furniture and you're just going to change this to building furniture and you're going to do the search again and you're going to save each of them and then by the end of it, what you're going to have is you're going to have 300 articles that you must write to gain that topical authority. You will never run out of content ideas. So I really, really hope you've enjoyed that. I hope that basically um, you use this. OK, and tell me how it's going on with you. So anyway, if you've enjoyed this, my name is Kieran Doyle. I do hope that I've earned your subscription with this. Um, let me know what you think about it. And uh, please leave a like and a comment down below. I'd really appreciate it, guys. So thanks so much. See you in the next video, potentially a Google Bar too.